Little friends, dogs and cats obviously isn't something I'd normally be interested in, but seeing as I'd never played a Nintendogs game back in the day, I was intrigued. Nintendogs sold like gangbusters, just what is the appeal of these games I kept wondering. Curiosity eventually got the better of me, let's just hope my curiosity isn't as dangerous to me as it is to the cat. Before we start, I know you're all dying to know, and I am confirming right here and now that you can pet the doggo. Now, the answer to my main question, what is the appeal of these games, actually came a lot quicker than I thought. It turns out that the appeal is very much like the appeal of any other game out there. I went in expecting a slightly more advanced Tamagotchi, and while there are elements of that in here, Little Friends, Dogs and Cats plays out a lot like any other game. There are clear progression paths, unlockables, leveling, and character progression, or rather, pet progression. Pretty much everything you do in the game will build your friendship level with your chosen pet. As your friendship level rises, more activities and shops open up until you eventually unlock the friend plaza where you can get even more pets. Your house can hold up to three pets at once and they are always visible running around playing or sleeping as you go about your business brushing down one of them or teasing the cat with a fuzzy stick thing. There is a hotel as well which is basically storage if you want to try out new breeds of cats or dogs. Most of the things you do are very basic and repetitive minigames. They aren't without their charm for the most part, but this is clearly aimed at young children and there's nothing wrong with that. The Tamagotchi-like elements are four meters which track the pet's happiness, hunger, thirst and cleanliness. Hunger and thirst are self-explanatory. Feed them if they're hungry, give them water if they're thirsty. Cleanliness is always dealt with by a magic brush that somehow even cleans the dirt and mud off, and the happiness meter is affected by pretty much everything. Feeding them something they like increases it, petting them increases it, taking a walk around can increase it, and so on and so forth. You can customize your pets with a wide variety of clothing and accessories, shirts, skirts, hats, glasses, collars, you name it. You can also customize your house, which is a somewhat odd feature to include in a pet simulator. Changing the wallpaper, furniture, flooring, and rug are all possible. Other than the things I've already mentioned, you can also enter flying disc or frisbee competitions, throw the disc out and if your little doggo catches it, you're awarded points based on the distance the disc travelled. Winning awards you money and tokens which can be used to buy everything from outfits and toys to furniture and wallpaper. Overall, it's quite a shallow experience, but then so were Tamagotchis. There is just something about them being yours that helps you forget that you're doing the same simple things over and over. The pets in Little Friends are undoubtedly adorable, and with all the clothes and accessories available, you truly can make them your own. This is one of those games you check in on every day to feed your pets, clean them up, take them for a walk. While this is clearly an experience made simple enough for young children, people of all ages may be able to find some endearment and comfort in looking after their virtual house of virtual pets. It probably isn't going to be something I return to, but I have to admit that even I got caught up in the cuteness of it all for the first few hours, especially when I was unlocking new things to do at every friendship level. Thankfully, my experience was far from gruelling, and my curiosity killed neither me nor the adorable cat I named Morgana, even though the cat is a girl. In my head though, all cats are girls and all dogs are boys, and I'm not sure why that is. It's like my brain's default response to seeing these two species. I can't be the only one who does this. Thanks for the liking, subscribing, and the sharing!